I'm joined in the studio by world affairs analyst Marco Vicenzino. Um, it turned into a coronation rather than a competition, didn't it? But he's got power with less votes. Do you think that's going to see him see a few problems down the line? I think in, in historical retrospect, there won't be a coronation. I think it was more of a Pyrrhic victory or a hollow victory because everyone was expecting him to win an outright victory in the first round, which he failed to do. Prince Ali, who was his competitor, was far more statesmanlike in his approach, and he demonstrated that he, he has the support of over one-third of the members of FIFA are behind them and committed to real reform. So in that sense, uh, it was it was, a, it was definitely a loss for FIFA and a hollow victory for Bladder. Going back in terms of what does this do, the next steps ahead, much I think will depend upon the judicial and the legal and judicial processes, not only in the United States, which promised, American prosecutors have promised a, not, a few more, uh, more rounds, more of uh, indictments, more indictments are to follow. And also you have the Swiss case for the 28, 2018 and 22 World Cup bids, and the UK is considering potential charges in other countries as time goes by. So I think you have to let the legal judicial process unfold. And to by see the, if he becomes exactly. any weaker. Exactly. Uh, we'll talk about UEFA in a moment, but Sepp Blatter sort of downplay the, the criminal proceedings. He, he caused, he described it as an issue uh, as infractions with the uh, marketing company in the Americas. Do you think that could be Blatter's first wrong move to kind of try and downplay the seriousness I of think his accept his acceptance speech after the is is becoming president for the fifth term was fairly incoherent and rambling his press conference today wasn't marked by the language necessary in light of what's going on and this is an existential crisis for FIFA I think for the most part uh, he uses the wrong language it's a language of victimization a language of conspiracy these indictments are based upon three years of solid legal investigation what well, results the outcome we need to see but simply dismiss him the way he does is, is wrong and it, it under, undermines the seriousness of the charges and I think how much he needs to compensate for if he wants to restore the credibility of NATO of, uh, of FIFA. Uh, got very little time so let's sure. battle through these questions. UEFA began threatening to remove European teams if he became president again. That's happened. Do you think UEFA going to carry out their threat? I, I think what, UEFA is going to take a cautious wait and see approach and see how the legal process unfolds before making firm decisions. Okay. Uh, now, Blatt is not named in the indictment, although you're suggesting that there could be another round to come out. He denies having anything to do with an alleged $10 million bribe. Do you think he is found to be some way implicated? What, where will that leave his presidency and indeed FIFA? If he hims obviously, if he himself is indicted, that practically, in my opinion, seals the end of his presidency. More people that are indicted that are in the upper ranks and closer to him, the weaker he becomes. And that sense, well, and vice presidents and former vice sure. presidents are kind of up there, aren't and they? And if there's more members of the executive committee, the pressure will build up for him to resign. So I think, in that sense, once again, I go back to that point. You one needs to have the let the legal process uh, legal process unfold in the U.S. and Switzerland and potentially other countries. Uh, where does this leave FIFA's relationships with its sponsors? Because they were the people that were kind of trying to apply pressure as well. There's been an exchange of letters between. Between Sepp Blatter and the, and, the, and the sponsors, including Visa, McDonald's, who've expressed very, very serious uh, concern about what's going on. I think also the sponsors are going to take a wait and see approach, as does UEFA and everyone else, to see how the legal process unfolds. Much depends on that. One cannot jump to conclusions. If you have more indictments and serious indictments that get closer to Blatter, the weaker he becomes, the more pressure builds up for him to resign. Marco Vincenzino, I'm sure we're going to be talking about this subject again in the future, but thanks very much. Thank you.